Hi there, and welcome to part two of this uh, two-part series on the basic 10 skills of the modern day entrepreneur. And this part two is more really about how to get your message out. And what we really need to think about is the idea that so many people as entrepreneurs, business owners, procrastinate about getting themselves out into the marketplace. And they hesitate so much. But once you've gone through the first five steps, and you know who you are, you know what your content is, and you know who your customers are, the next step, number six, is simply taking the action and getting your content out into the marketplace and doing it instantly and not hesitating because so many people wait till it's just right but if you're waiting till it's just right it's never going to be right and it's never going to be out there and you're never going to be able to capitalize on the knowledge that you have so number six is get your content out as fast as you can whether it's through an ebook or through YouTube videos or through any way that you want to contact your market Number seven is have the skills, learn the skills, and do the skills to get your market hungry for what you have. And normally that's done through email copy, normally it's done through newsletters, but any way that you can talk to your list, your market, and get them hungry, they've got to have it. The skill to be able to get your market hungry is number seven. Number eight is you've got to have basic sales skills. You've got to have the skills to be able to convert those people that come to you wanting to know more. And you've got to have the skills to be able to communicate exactly who you are, what you do, and how what you have will have a massive impact on the people that you talk to. And you've got to be able to really attract the right people and also have the sales skills to convert them so that they are they are actually making a decision to work with you. Next, you need to have a website that is logical, that flows, and that people will want to read more of and will really engage them. So many websites we see out there are not user-friendly and actually pulls people away and actually creates distrust and, super and suspicion about what people are doing. So I encourage you to have another look at your website and take a fresh eyes on it and have a look at it and see, does it really create a clear funnel for your people and the people that are coming to you so they can know really what's their experience going to be like with you. And lastly, number 10, you must have strategies and tools to be able to put yourself back in front of the eyes of your market consistently. So that once you have raised your perceived value, that people are constantly exposed to you and what you have to offer. So many times we get ready for success and we do our things, but in the marketplace right now, so many people become a three month or a six month or a one year success, but their success doesn't continue on for the longer term. And we need to have strategies and tools to make sure that we are always constantly exposed to the people that need to see us. So just a quick review. Number six was get your content out as fast as you can, no matter what it is. And look for feedback from people as well, of course. Number seven is have the skills to make your market hungry for you. So they are starving to get whatever you have. Number eight is have the sales skills to be able to then convert those people who come to you. Number nine is have a website that is logical and flows. So that you're doing a favor and service to the people that want to come to you and find out more. And lastly, have those consistency plans, tools, strategies to keep yourself in the eyes of the market that you have. So develop that list, to be talking to your list, and be talking to the people that really want to hear from you. 
and have the plans to make sure that's consistently happening. Thank you so much for watching part two of this video series. I look forward to seeing you again in the future and uh, please don't hesitate to contact me anytime as I am here to really serve and help you grow and develop uh, in all areas of the business that you might have and supporting others. Thank you so much and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Much, much.